This video is going to demonstrate how to complete a change request in the Turin Scheme project reporting tool. Once we're logged in, we can scroll down to our application and we select our application and we then scroll down the application overview until we see an option saying update participant list and update mobility groups. And we select that. And this is going to present us with a form to make changes to our mobility groups uh, or our participant details. So the first question is asking us, what do we want to update? So if we just have updates to our participant list, i.e. there's only changes to the participant details, such as their names, addresses, uh, dates they're going on the mobility groups and so on, um, we would just select the first option. However, if there's changes to the mobility group itself, for example, the date that any of the mobility groups are starting, the number of participants, uh, the number of uh, different types of participants, such as disadvantaged, number of send participants, uh, we would want to select the second option to update the mobility groups. And for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to select uh, that second option to show the full process of uh, a change request. So we save and continue. We're then presented with the mobility groups overview. And this displays an overview of all of our mobility groups in our project. We can see in this gray box here, our total approved project cost is this amount, and this will of course represent your own uh, pro approved project cost, and then our adjusted project cost. And this will change dependent on the changes that are made on this form to the mobility groups. So if I was to remove participants, then that number would go down. If I was to add participants or add any additional mobility groups, this number would go up. and this must always stay within the total approved project cost. It cannot go over, go over um, because this is the, the budget that I've been set for my project. Uh, and if it does go over, this will change to say over budget. So we can scroll down and see our mobility groups. If we want to make a change to a mobility group, we just select update mobility group here on the appropriate mobility group. Uh, if we want to remove a mobility group completely, there's a remove option here. So we're going to have a look at how to change a mobility group. So I'm going to go into ship building in Denmark and update this mobility group. So I'm presented with a read-only view of this mobility group. So I can see when it's going to start, how many participants there's going to be on the mobility group, the types of participants, the country it's going, and all the other relevant details. So here I review this. And if I then determine that uh, I need to make a change to this, then at the bottom of this form is the option to make changes. So I'm going to click on that. And we now get the same form, but with change links on the right hand side. So we can jump in to the relevant section of this form and change it as needed. So in this example, I'm going to increase the number of participants going on this mobility group. So at the moment, there's 15 learner participants one of which are disadvantaged, one of which are send, uh, and it's for 15 days. So I'm going to change this 15 participants. And we can see the data is populated here. So I'm going to change this to there's now 20 participants going on this mobility group. So I can scroll down review everything else, it's fine, and I save and return. That's now updated to 20. And I then need to save and continue. 
And you can see back on my mobility groups overview that the total approved project cost has now updated. So the adjusted project cost has now gone up because I've increased the number of participants. And we can see here that I'm over budget. So that means that I then need to reduce uh, the costs from other mobility groups. So say, for example, the five participants that I just put into the Denmark mobility group, they may have moved from the study trip to India. So I'm going to now take five participants away from the India mobility group. So again, I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to scroll to the bottom and select make changes. And on the total learner participants, I'm going to reduce this from 15 to 10. And I'm going to save and return. And then I'm going to save and continue. And now my budget has updated. So I'm now within budget. And we can see the adjusted project cost is well within the approved project cost now. So before we move on to the next stage, let's have a look at the common issues that can arise at this stage. So number one is not fully saving the mobility group that you've made the change to. So let's look at this traineeship in Canada. So currently I've got no change made, but I'm going to update this mobility group and I'm going to select make changes. And let's change our disadvantaged learner participants from one to two. So instead of selecting save here, it's possible that you can select back and it will have still made that change, but it hasn't been saved yet or committed. Um, and when I go back, we can see that that's in draft. But then if I attempt to mark as complete, it's gonna give me an error saying, to complete my mobility groups. So what we need to do is to go back into that mobility group and make sure that we select this green save and continue button and that will commit that change and allow us to mark as complete so that when I select this button in a moment, there won't be an error. If you change your mind and you don't want to make an update to the mobility group, as I want to do in this case. Um, so I've just changed the number of disadvantaged, but I want to revert that change. So I can go back into that mobility group and select this cancel changes option. And now when I look at my overview, we can see the status of this mobility groups goes back to no change, while the other two remain in draft as they've had some changes. Another reason you might receive an error on this screen is because not all fields have been completed for a mobility group. And this can happen when you've changed an answer to a mobility group, uh, triggering the display of additional fields that have not been entered. So if we look at an example of that, if we go into our study trip to India, if I look at this last question, it asks about whether this mobility group has exceptionally expensive travel costs. It's currently selected as no. If I change that to yes and save, it's going to trigger a couple more fields asking about the estimated costs and the details of those costs. Now, if I was to go back and try to submit, this would uh, display an error stating that the mobility groups aren't complete, and it's because of these two. Um, and so it's important to go into, if you're getting that error, just check to make sure there's no fields like this that haven't been entered. So I'm gonna change this back to no and save. So now that our mobility groups are all fine, we've made the changes we've, we need, uh, we've, we're within budget, we can then go on to the next stage for our participant list. Now do take note here of any participants that you've removed from mobility groups. So where you've reduced the number of participants. So just to reiterate, we have increased the shipbuilding in Denmark mobility group by five, and we've taken away five from the India trip. So in the next stage, when I mark as complete, 
and I need to select in my participant list which participants I am removing from the trip to India. So if we download the participant list and open it up, we can see our participant details that we previously provided as well as the number of participants have changed. So the trip to Denmark uh, has increased from 15 rows to 20 rows. So there's an additional uh, five rows of blank spaces. However, the India trip, um, I've removed five participants from the mobility group. Um, and I now need to select which five participants are being removed uh, and sort of moving them to the Denmark trip, if that's the case. So what we need to do here is to use the far right column, which is remove participant. And it explains up here that you should only use this column if you're reducing the number of participants from a mobility group, which we are doing in this case. Um, and we need to select yes on the appropriate rows. So it's important to remember that the number of participants uh, needs to match up exactly. So I have removed five participants in this case. And let's say it's these five. So from row 46 to 50. So what I need to do is to scroll all the way to the right to the remove participant column. And I'm going to select yes against those five. So when I upload this, the system will now accept that and the those five rows will be removed um, and this data will be removed along with it. Um, and afterwards, when I download the participant list in future, the number of rows will be reduced to match uh, the same number that I specified. Now, if at this stage, I, I don't want uh, to lose this information. Uh, let's say they're moving participant, uh, sorry, moving mobility groups. I can copy and paste and move them up to this mobility group. Um, so you can either leave that as it is, uh, the information there, or, or delete it out. Um, but as I've selected yes in the far right, and those rows are going to be removed when I upload and submit this change request. So now that I've done that, I'm going to save, close this, and continue. And I'm now going to upload that spreadsheet. So I'm going to select that file that I just saved. And that's uploaded successfully. So I'm going to save and continue. And I then get to the check your answer screen. So this allows us to review everything that we've entered and uploaded. So just double check. So the ship built into Denmark has increased to 20 participants. The study trip to India has reduced to 10. Uh, and I've uploaded uh, the new participant list where I've highlighted which participants from the trip to India should be removed. And that's everything. And we can submit. And we get our change request submitted screen with a reference number, uh, which we will receive an email notifying us that that's been submitted. And we'll receive an email once a decision has been made on that change request. Uh, we can also monitor it from the dashboard um, by viewing our application. And we can see the status of my latest change request at the bottom there is in submitted status. Uh, so I can come back here and check it. And I can also click into it to view all of the details that I submitted.